Amen, even if nobody else is. Turn to uh, be a familiar passage of Scripture. Luke chapter number 10 was where we'll be uh, tonight starting off. And uh, verse 22 is where we're going to start out. Um, I got this yesterday while you was preaching right before you called the invitation and I didn't have time to write many notes down. Um, but I, I took that thought and prayed over it today and, and this is what God gave me. Uh, Luke chapter number 10 verse 22 said, All things are delivered to me of my Father, and no man knoweth who the Son is, but the Father, and who the Father is, but the Son, and whom he, and, and he to whom the Son will reveal him. Those last two words is what I want to preach on tonight. As most of you know that I'm a concealed carry uh, uh, instructor and a lot of you have sat through my classes. Amen. Some of you have even come out and went through some of my private classes. And we talk about concealing things which is to prevent observation to keep it from public view. Right? Yeah. Well, Tonight, what we're going to do, we're going to relate that to the Bible, amen, and yeah. Jesus Christ Himself. Yeah. If you've got something on the inside, Brother Scotty, you've got Christ dwelling in you yeah. tonight. Yeah. Everybody in here does, but are you revealing it to everybody else? Right. Are you keeping it concealed? Right. There's several amen. different things that I go over in my class, Brother Andrew. Prohibited places, the different types of ammo, whenever you do, have to pull it out and use it. Let's talk about that ammo, because there ain't no prohibited places that you right. can conceal that, yeah. you, that word of God, amen. You wear it on the outside. This is an open carry church right here, amen. You see that thing up? It's an open. You go ahead and use it. You go back to 2 Samuel chapter number 17. Whenever old David goes and gets them stones, I think I shared this with you. He didn't just pick up them jagged rocks that he was standing around, did he? No. He went off to that brook. But yes. then he knew yeah. he had to get away. Uh, and uh, to separate uh, himself yeah. to get that ammo. Yeah. You're going to have to separate yourself yeah. from that TV, yeah. from that cell phone, yeah. from that girlfriend. You're going to have to yeah. separate yourself to get the ammo. Yeah. Yeah. You know why I teach deadly and non-deadly force and all that kind of stuff? The minute you conceal Him, whenever God is trying to get you to reveal Him on the outside, yeah. that's deadly force. Let me tell you, you'll see somebody's right. If you don't witness to Him, yeah. that non-deadly force is what we're looking for. We're looking for that eternal 